Welcome to Rant Therapy. Because sometimes you just need to get it off your chest so you can move on with your life. It's a podcast short powered by the co-hosts of the Happy Eating Podcast. Carolyn, what are you so over this morning? I am so over school mornings with my sixth grade son. Tell us why. (laughs) And we're fresh off a really great morning. So this is, (laughs) you're catching me at my best. At your prime. Yeah. (laughs) Let it rip. Well, first off, no alarm wakes him up. Like, really, we have tried all kinds of alarms. I need to put this on Facebook or something and poll people. But, like, he is such a deep sleeper. He is, like, he is either awake or he is asleep and he is out. Like, it's almost like an Energizer bunny. He, When he's awake, he's going nonstop. <laughs> when he stops, he stops. And he is, like, dead to the world. Like, no alarm will wake him up? He sleeps completely through it. I don't know how. I have not found one yet. What is he going to do later in life? I don't know. And now that we're getting, like, to sixth grade, like, it is kind of a little concerning. I'm like, but, like, anyway. So it's ultimately my responsibility to make sure he's up. Yeah. Well, and you also have to drive him to school. Yeah. I mean, I'm getting ready at the same time. Um, But then it's just the constant prodding. I mean, maybe. I think it's somewhat a boy, but I really feel like we should be turning that maturity corner. Like, I was trying to think when it happened for my daughter. Like, you make sure they're up. You know, when they're little, you have to, like, you put your clothes on, brush your teeth, that kind of thing. Right, right. I was trying to think when Madeline kind of turned that corner. And I think in middle school, like, sometimes I had to make sure she got up. Once she was up, she could usually follow through with the logical steps that needed to, to happen, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some mornings, you know, like <laughs> had to hurry her up, but but we haven't hit that with my son, and it's kind of like get in the shower, you know, wash your, make sure you wash your hair, right, right. Make sure you use soap and yes. shampoo, yeah, yes. yeah. Um, get dressed. Have you found your shoes? Like, eh, eh, go brush your teeth. Like. I don't know that these things would get done if I did not say them. Yeah. And I'm just kind of over it because then we get in the car and he really likes to get to school early. Even though he doesn't want to get up. He really likes to get to school early. So then we get in the car and you can tell he's a little miffed that he's not going to be there early. No. And I'm just done. Like, he doesn't, like, this is all your fault, bud. Yeah. This is all your fault. Yeah. This is, and I just kind of hit a wall this morning. I was like, this is not my responsibility. Yeah. (laughs) This is the consequence for the earlier actions this morning. uh, And don't you dare act a little ticked that you're not there early to hang out with your friends. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to have to get up. But I, I, I'm praying that we turn that maturity corner soon. And he knew I was mad this morning. Yeah. So I don't know. It is interesting, like, that they have their things that they like, at you know, in regards to, like, getting to school earlier. Like, my kids like to walk with their friends to school. Mm-hmm. And that's my motivator for them. And I'm like, if you don't put a little, you know, pep in your step here, you are not going to get to walk with your friends. You are going to get to walk with just us. Yeah. And that's it, because they're going to leave. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> and he just hasn't. I mean, he goes to bed about the same time every night. But, like, every morning, you'd think, like, it was a Monday morning, I was waking him up from the weekend. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. I need your body to adjust, bud. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to wake you up about 6, 630. Every, every day. day. Yeah, every day. So, let's get with it. I feel like you do need to do a social media, like, call for advice about what kind of alarm. There have to be some other boys like this. Like, it just, I I can't sleep. Even if it's not that loud, just something constant going. going. Any kind of alarm. You know, I hear it when it bothers me, you know? Yeah. It is like nothing gets through to him. It is like, I mean, it kind of makes me jealous of that deep sleep that he's in. For sure. You know? But um, but he's always been like that too. Like he's either, it's like the Energizer Bunny, either on or off. 
but now I'm needing this bunny to get with it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So oh. that is my venting. Do you feel better? I guess, yeah. Until tomorrow morning. Until tomorrow morning. Thanks. All right. Well, if anybody has any advice for Carolyn, we need the equivalent of a foghorn and built into an alarm. The opinions, beliefs, and viewpoints expressed by the hosts of this podcast do not necessarily reflect the opinions, beliefs, and viewpoints of anyone anywhere else. This is meant for entertainment purposes only.